Knife heads, how's it going? My microphone's falling out of my ear. It is what it is, I guess, at this point. Unprofessional. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put this short, short video up. It's probably going to be two, two or three minutes. It ain't going to be long. I'm going to show you this knife in my hand. And I'm going to do modifications to it myself coming out tomorrow. And if you guys would like to see it, see my modifications, I'm going to be doing a video on it tonight when I get my bearings to do it. Because... This is going to be my real first modification, what I'm tr going to try to do on this knife. And I want you guys to check it out. If it goes right in my head, what I'm thinking how it's going to do, it's going to be cool. But if not, that's okay because I'm going to carry this knife. I'm not going to sell it. If it turns out bad, it's going to be a reminder to me that I need to do better. Or I might need to try it on a cheaper knife before I try it on this big boy. Bad, bad boy. But, anyways, this is going to be my before video. That's the reason I'm doing it. This is a Caribbean Blue 2023 model. You see it here. Boy, I, like, I love that. I love how the die don't take. <clears throat> this is saw cut jigged. Caribbean Blue. No gaps. Both blades, pretty much straight down Broadway. The uh, main blade here, the clip point, it's probably to the show side, probably about 16th of an inch, something real small. But I'm going to be doing some modifications to this knife to, to, tonight, as I stated. And if you guys would like to see it, check my video out tomorrow I'm going to be putting out about this. And tune in and see if it's if I did good or I did bad. But this is my favorite color of knife, blue. I hope I did. I hope, I, I hope it goes good because if it does... I believe everybody will get a kick out of it. And people will try to do it themselves. But let me show you this one I'm carrying today while I'm at it. Might as well, huh? At least get a five minute video out of it. This is a mini trapper. It's got fluted bolsters. It's got pinch bolsters. It does have a slight gap right here. I'm not for sure what this handle material is called. But uh, I don't have a box to this knife. But this knife really makes me think of the old school knives when I... Look at them handle materials. That makes me think... Of an old school pocket knife right here. It's a mini trapper. It's a 07 model. It is a 2023-2. I'm carrying new today, guys. It's got the acorn shield. It's got brass pins. Brass liners. I think if they would do all the stainless steel pins and liners I think this knife would be even more jam up than what it already is 
Both of them blades are right down Broadway. Come on. But I'm really taking a liking to this bone. And I know where some more of them is. If I ever decide to buy some. But I don't know. This one's really doing it for me right now. This mini uh, mini trapper. It's got the spade blade. 6207. And it's not, uh, this is stamped. It's stamped. It ain't lasered. It's got half stops. I cleaned this baby out this morning. It was real rough. You can see it's stamped. It's not lasered. It's got that new ground blade on it. You see how the. Got the finger choil, how it goes up and it curls. Got that new grind blade. Got the half stops. Look, get that in the light. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome knife. If you guys has been hesitant on about getting getting you one of these check them out this makes me feel of the old timey gives me the old timey vibes if you like that kind of vibes this is your knife i'm telling you that's all i got guys check in with me tomorrow and i'm going to show you my project i'm going to do my personal custom that i'm doing to this Caribbean blue saw cut jigged trapper tomorrow. I'm going to film it. If it turns out good, I'm going to show it. If it turns out bad, I'm going to show it. I done got everything set up. I'm just getting the nerve to do it. With this, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to leave yous alone. And I'll see yous tomorrow. Y'all, stay classy. You hear?